They say that the man that invented gambling, or the person who invented gambling was great. The guy that invented chips was a genius, because obviously not the right. Hmm. I always say, listen, the person that invented social media, great. The people that invented the language around social media, genius. Look, why is it called social media? Hmm. When it actually, it's not really particularly social. But it's unsocial. Well, yeah, it should be anti-social media. Why is it called a news feed? When it doesn't really consist of news in any sense. But the greatest of all is platform. Now, platform is a wonderful word. It has this very neutral connotation of this place that we all stand up and we have a little chin wag. But it is, these are not platforms. These are businesses. And they are designed to make money. Hmm. And their product, what is their product? It's us. And this means two things. One, it doesn't want to kick people off its service you know nazis buy trainers too you know they do the second thing is that it wants to keep us on for as long as possible and here we know we know all about the famous algorithms but what where this is dangerous and this was you know i'm picking up on the point made by the guys here is the fact that this is how you exacerbate hatreds look you know 20 years ago we'd watch a war arab israeli let's say for the sake of argument they'd be pro-arab pro-israelis but they would both watch the same content coming out of BBC, CNN, ITV, whatever. And this content would be created by professional journalists, professional photographers, cameramen, whatever. They would then draw their own conclusions, fine. But they would still be, be reading from the same reality. Mm. Now, flick to 2014, Operation Protective Edge, Hamas, Israel. A Israeli researcher, Gilad Lotan, mapped on a, yeah, a, a graph of nodes about where each side got their, net, uh, their information from. One, it, it looked like pro-Palestine, one cluster, pro-Israel, another cluster. Only Haaretz, the left-leaning Israeli magazine, was the only point of overlap. Now, what we have here is two realities. Two realities. That means that if <coughs> Raggy is pro-Israel, I'm pro-Palestine, or vice versa, we can't sit down and say, listen, you're wrong. Mm. It's like, no, you're a liar. Yeah. I've seen it, I've read it, I've heard it. You are a liar. And this is how you create, you know, thus is hatred exacerbated, division exacerbated. But the